Hi my crafty friends. Welcome to Girl Plus Paper's How Did She Do That series. I'm Andrea Sherman, the Girl Plus Paper. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make these three-dimensional flowers using our stitched flowers thin cut dies from Close to My Heart. They're a brand new product that just came out with this new Seasonal Expressions 2 catalog. Now let's look at this set of thin cuts. There's lots of different shapes on here and they all make very flat, one-dimensional die cuts. Here's one of the flowers that I cut using the thin cuts. It's cut from the Sweet Girl paper. It's a very pretty patterned paper, and in fact, if you look at the cards and the examples, those are all created using the Sweet Girl paper line. Sweet Girl is the paper sweet that is featured for the month of May. I know that you came here to find out how did she do that, so let's get started. I began with two of these large base pieces. One of them you can see I've already cut up. And now I'm going to show you how I, just using my micro tip nonstick scissors, just cut between all of the petals um, to create some movement in these flowers. So it's really easy, not very scientific. Just be careful that you don't cut too close to the petal before, or you will cut away one of those petals. Now you'll see that I have all of my petals cut apart and separated from each other. And now I begin to manipulate the, flow the flower and the paper. I start by holding the flower firmly with my left hand with my thumb, and I begin to bend the petals using my right hand back towards the middle, and I put a little curve using my pointer finger. Okay, now I have this one done. And I just move it around a bit. Don't be afraid to play with your paper. It's just paper, you can always cut another one, but nothing bad's gonna happen. Now that my flower looks the way that I want it to, I grab that second original base piece and I'm going to adhere them together using a foam circle dot. So just peel that off and I'm placing them together and I'm being careful to offset the leaves. I'm trying to, um, to make sure that I don't have the leaves exactly lined up and then I just go ahead and I manipulate them a little more, bend the flower petals, put some up, some down, just to see how my results are going to look. Now in this one I have a, a solid round white piece. I did not cut that little flowery piece. In this example that I'm making now, I decided to go ahead and make some little cuts in it just like I did with that bigger piece so that I have some more movement in the center of that flower. Looks like I have a whole bunch of little hearts, but again, I'm gonna grab one of those foam circles and I'm going to then go ahead and adhere that down to the center. I think the foam gives it so much more dimension and makes the flower look a little bit more realistic. Now using this small round circle, I'm going to cut another piece, a little gray piece that is from the Sweet Girl Paper Packet. It's just a scrap of paper and I'm going to use one more foam circle and I'm gonna adhere that down to the center. And that is how I completed this first flower. Now let's take a look at how I created this second flower. I began by cutting two pieces, a five petaled flower and a four petaled flower. I've cut them both using our mint card stock. And as you can see, one is a lighter shade and one is a darker shade. Our card stock is double sided and does have two different hues or shades of the same color. So much like the first flower, I began by cutting through um, each of those little, I call them valleys of the flower, and you'll see me doing that here with all four of the petals to separate those petals to allow them to move a little bit better. Now that I've cut between all of those petals, I'm going to begin to fold and crease and bend each of those petals so that my flower begins to look a little bit more realistic. This is the top layer. And what I'm doing is I'm bending them inward. Um, I'm really starting to crinkle up the paper. Like I said, don't be scared. You could also mist this a little bit with some water. And now you'll see that I'm just giving it some finishing touches before moving on to the five petal flower. I now have the five petals and I am bending them up um, towards the middle and rounding the, the petals down and outward as well. Now I'm going to take that top layer and again using a foam circle, I'm going to go ahead and stick the two layers together. I'm going to make some final adjustments. You'll see I'm folding it a little more on those um, stitched die lines 
because that gives the flower more dimension. Now, once again, I took that tiny circle and instead of cutting it out of cardstock, I now cut a circle out of our gold glitter paper and I'm adhering that down on top of the flower. Isn't that pretty? I really like the way that that turned out. Now let's take a quick look back at all of the flowers that we've created and the little cards too. Now let's look at the stamp that I used to create all of the sentiments on these cute little cards. It's our May stamp of the month. It's called To My Bestie and it's available for as little as $5 with a qualifying purchase over on my website andreasharman.closetomyheart.com And now let's take a look at how I've used some of these sentiments quickly on the inside and outside of these cards. I love that this stamp set has lots of of different sentiments and a mixture of script and some print like this word celebrate here. I love how they come together. Now before we go, I want to show you one more project that I'm going to teach you next time on our next How Did She Do That video. Um, this is a slider card that I'm going to make with some of my girls at my next scrapbooking crop. And I have used the same flower technique and I built upon it to make this adorable card. I hope that they like it. I want them to touch a variety of pro products that we have and there's lots of dyes that are exciting that are coming up. So stay tuned for that. And remember, if you are interested in these, in these thin cuts, the stitched flowers, go ahead and grab them right now from my website because I have a feeling like many of the other really good thin cuts that they're going to be snapped up and gone um, way before the end of this catalog cycle. And while you're over on my website, you might also want to throw in a package of our Sweet Girl patterned cardstock and our solid colored coordinating cardstock to the Sweet Girl line. Because once you add that to your stitched flower thin cuts, you're going to have hit the $50 mark that you need to get this to my bestie stamp of the month for only $5. So thank you girls for watching. I hope you enjoyed this session of How Did She Do That with Girl Plus Paper. And I look forward to seeing you next time.